Hey everyone, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you how I precisely level my X gantry and my heated bed. And in my opinion, a lot of these issues with the first layer adhesion and, and just uneven first layers uh, has a lot to do with not just the bed leveling but also the X gantry being perfectly level to the frame of, of the printer. That is critical it has to be level to the frame of the printer uh, oftentimes we only level the bed to the X gantry using a paper or a feeler gauge or something like that and if you have a BL touch you still have to do the initial bed leveling the manual way uh, but if you have a crooked X gantry that can cause a lot of problems uh, if you have a crooked X gantry and you're trying to level the bed to that uh, you can start to cause a lot of stress in the build plate itself because you're going to level some knobs tighter than others and due to the four point leveling system you just have a uh, potential to create kind of a warping effect um, on your printer and that's not good so um, I've developed a tool to help you level your X gantry I've designed this tool because I have 17 under 3 V2s and it is a lot to uh, manually adjust. These these gantries, X gantries, they do uh, get out of whack every now and then. So I check them weekly and I'm using this to check them. I have two. I'm going to show you how this works. This is a dial gauge that I bought off Amazon and I've designed this to work with this specific dial gauge. I have a link in the description if you would like to purchase these and it is an Amazon affiliate link I just I just want to be upfront about that um, but it fits inside this 3D print it's a cradle and I've designed the distance and this um, so the back will fit uh, with inside of the uh, the frame for the Ender 3. So let me show you how this works. This insert there snaps right in and then the back will sit flush with the frame and then you use the second one and that sits flush. That sits flush with the frame as well. You may have to sand yours down a little bit, uh, those guides, just to get it to work. But you can see here that they're both zero so I'm going to move my gantry down and I'm going to check to see if there's any uh, variation. So 7.39, 7.28. Uh, this one's not that bad because I had already previously leveled this. Um, so what I like to do is I like to uh, move the Z so that it engages that motor and then uh, it looks like this one is too low. So I'm going to try to move this up, 7.2. Before I do that though, you want to make sure that you uh, loosen your V-roller. And you want to loosen it until this spins freely. And so now you're able to check uh, without any interruptions from the, uh, the V-roller. So I just move it over, around a bit just to get it any uh, settling out. Okay. So I'm at 8.92 and I'm at 8.67. Uh, so this is this side is too low. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give it some taps like that. And then I move it up and down a little bit again just to get some settling out. I'm at 8.22, 9.31. Oh, I went over too much. 9.12. 9.0, 9.21. All right, let me try this again. 9.16, just a little bit. 9.25, 9.25. Let me move it to get some settling. 9.69 or 9.97, 10.02. That's 0.05 millimeters. So then I'm happy with that. I'm going to adjust and get the V-roller to engage with the frame again.
and it is moving the gantry a little bit at this point but that's okay we're gonna all right so 9.83 so the the v roller is engaged with the frame so we're at 9.83 10 so this needs to go down a little bit 10 uh 10.10 10.15 just a little more 10.13 oh, i'm pretty happy 10.16 all right i adjust it again to make sure that that's not too tight and acting as a brake 10.92 11.01 let's try this again 11 11.11 11.08 10.95 11.03 i'm pretty happy with that so uh, that to me is level so now that the uh, X gantry is perfectly level to the frame of the printer. That is when I use my dial gauge for the uh, for the extruder. So let me just go here, disable the steppers, and it's always a good practice to heat your bed. So I'll go to control temperature bed temp. I use 50 degrees. Once your bed is uh, at 50 or at your printing temperature, um, I just bring it back all the way and then I start by lowering it. And then I move it over, uh, directly over the uh, knob as much as possible. Um, and then I zero this out. Let's see if we get a better view here. Man, I know some of you have might have seen this already. But for those that haven't, this is how I do it. I zero this out. Okay. Point on one, that's okay. And then I move directly over the other leveling knob, and then I make my adjustments. So this is too tight. And then I come here, get a good zero directly over the other too tight as well loosen this up that's zero and I come over to the next knob this one's a little loose so I'll tighten it okay and then I go back and check and I just keep uh, this one a little tightening a little more tightening All right, that is acceptable. Mm, that is acceptable too. All right, that is that is a perfectly level X gantry and a perfectly leveled bed. So that's basically it. Um, I use these these dial gauges are lifesavers. Um, I mean, when we do electronics troubleshooting, we use multimeters. And I consider these multimeters for my 3D printer because they give me the ability to be scientific with the adjustments that I make. I'm not just blindly making adjustments and hoping for the best. So these are super helpful. <clears throat> what I just did right now, I can do all 17 of my 3D, my Ender 3s and my print form, I can do them in half an hour. And that is so important because I have a full-time day job I sometimes work 60 hours, 70 hours a week, um, and my printers are still running 24-7, so I only have maybe an hour uh, or 30 minutes in the morning. I have to, you know, just print and go. I don't have to worry about uh, any first layer issues because I know my printers are fully adjusted precisely, and I do it every weekend. I'm going to make another video where I show you the check sheets that I that I do to make sure that my print farm is in line and just well organized uh, in terms of doing any maintenance or adjustments but yeah I hope this uh, this video was helpful I just wanted to make this um, real quick and uh, I'm gonna put a link into the description for this thingiverse file and then also the dial gauge this dial gauge is different 
uh, but I use this one for the bed leveling but these two are exactly the same and I designed this file um, to work with these and the measurements are exact because the probe sits directly under this uh, the edge of this extrusion this aluminum extrusion so that it has something to make contact with so um, you know if you want to kind of remix the idea feel free to do so um, use your own dial gauges or whatever you have but yeah I just want to put the idea out there of what I do and how it helps me to manage uh, these which I got 12 here and I have five in another room well that's it guys I hope this uh, video was helpful as always thank you for watching